thought today was a, um, a good day, really just because of the, the course of how things progressed in practice. Didn't really start off the way I wanted it to. Uh, you know, we had some had some mistakes early. Uh, you know, and then from time to time, that's going to show up. You know, when you're in your your whether you're installing or whether you're trying to you know, adapt what you do to different looks and making sure that we're on point with the with the, the little things that are going to be necessary. You know, in, in the course of a game or a game plan. And uh, you know, I, I thought there were some mistakes early that showed up. And you know, as, pa- as practice progressed, I thought our guys really took ownership in, in being able to to make the corrections. Uh, I thought we finished well. I thought it was a, a good day overall. But uh, you, know, you know, what we, how we start, and and the uh, uh, the execution there early is still critically important for us. And you know, being able to try to apply that to end game situations, to things that we might see, yes, the response is uh, uh, is huge. But uh, you know, want to make sure we start start the way that we need to start. You know, even even uh, you know, with with the challenges that could could present themselves. We know going on the road just to be a hostile hostile. Uh, environment you'll hear this week and you know we got to make sure that, uh, that we're on point in, in all aspects and being prepared to uh, come out and start fast and, and that's what practice gives you an opportunity to, uh, to put on display and to, to, to execute but uh, you know I thought, I thought our guys did a nice job in their response today and got some good work. Does your travel schedule alter at all with the storm coming in? Uh, as of right now there's not been any adjustments that have been that have been needed but we have been in communication just tracking all things. Um, but we don't, we don't feel as, as if it's going to be adjusted as of right now. Ryan, I know, had a good day of practice. Really, he's had a good few weeks after kind of the struggle. What do you credit his, his turnaround, the in-season turnaround to? You know, work, uh, belief, you know, confidence in, in who he is. And, uh, you know, it doesn't – when you work really hard, it doesn't always mean that you're going to that you're gonna experience success. But, you know, if you'll, if you'll continue on with it and be consistent and continue to, to believe in, in what you do and, and how you do it, um, you know, sometimes adjustments have to be made, and you know, but it, as as you go through that process, you know, I, I firmly believe the result, results will show up. Uh, you for him, and he's been really good. And I mean, I thought he, had, you know, he's had like you mentioned, he's had a, a really good last couple of weeks. Showed up in the games, and then you know, obviously today had a couple of big kicks. How about Brian Courtney? Yes, that kid's pretty solid. How's he coming along for? Uh, he's going to be a lot of fun to watch here these next few years. And, you know, I was glad for him in the game uh, you know, on Saturday to be able to get his first, you know, first catch. Um, it's it, this is a, he's somebody that was playing in a different position here. I mean, we talked, you know, I guess it was yesterday. We were talking about recruiting, and you know, that that was somebody we were really high on, and just how he fit us, you know, what we what we see and the potential that he has. And, you know, but now he's got to he's got to grow and um, you know develop at a, at a different different position than what he's ever played. But uh, you know, he's getting better each week. Um, you know, he's helping us. Tremendously on special teams, you know, he's continuing to work there at the tight end position. But I mean, even you know the work that he's getting, you know, even though he's not playing a ton of offensive snaps, you know, he's he's the work he's getting in special teams. I think is just helping him, uh, you know, overall. And you know, when he got his opportunity there last Saturday, he took advantage of it. And you know, hopefully those will continue to, to grow as the season as the season progresses. But uh, I just love watching work. But he had a great, I thought he had a great day today in what he did. I mean, he is all all challenges. You know, he's he's throwing the ball you know, really efficiently uh, this year. You know, you, you see he's got confidence in what they're asking him to do. Uh, you know, as a runner, I mean, he's he's fast, he's athletic, but he's strong. And I mean, that was the thing that uh, you know in last year's game. I mean, we got the guys first round draft pick that you know he's he showed his strength and, and uh, elusiveness. Uh, you know, in that. Uh, in that game, and uh, you know, I, I know that he's he's presented problems for everybody that he's playing against. You know, he's been you know, banged up these last uh, last few weeks, but uh, you know, we're expecting you know expecting to see him this week. And uh, you know, not a ton of differences, you know, in, in a sense of uh, skill set between you know, you know first and second, but you know just experience, and uh, you know, that's uh, that, that's the biggest thing that showed up. But uh, you know, it's he, he presents a lot of challenges. Byron Turner flash today for a guy like him who's not in the rotation right now. How important are these last few weeks, kind of parlaying that in the bowl season, and then parlaying that in the kind of the off season? Yeah, you know, you know, Byron, uh, you know, I haven't really addressed any. I mean, he's been dealing with an injury here. He's the middle part of the, you know, basically the, the bulk of the, the middle part of the season. He was doing a great job uh, there, helping us in special teams. You know, uh, really a dominant player. Uh, you know, in those things that he's being asked to do, and very similar to Brian. You know, he's he, he's somebody that we think has huge upside. You know, his explosiveness. You know, the, the strength. Uh, the athleticism, you know, just how hard he plays. Uh, you know, Byron's going to have a great future here. And, you know, as he's getting back to, to being healthy, hopefully we'll get him back on the field 
uh, you know, this week, and uh, you know, like you like you like you know, noticed. I mean, it's uh, he's doing he's doing really good things. He he does have a skill set that I think will help us, and uh, he will add another another great piece into that into that uh, defensive front. With Trace on board right now, trending to possibly yeah. be available. And, and, and like, like I mentioned last week, I was I was you know, I mentioned unless there was a setback or something that you know that kept it. You know, we were, we were I think he would have been available if it was an absolute emergency last week. It just you know, those last 24 hours didn't necessarily go you know as well as we had hoped, and uh, and we wanted to be smart with him. And uh, so this week, you know, he's been you know, he's gotten uh, even more more action in practice, and uh, you know. Kind of same as same as a story and approach, and we'll see where that gets to as we get to uh, to game day. If you, if you do get Trey on back this week, you know how does that like how um, Trey Benson and um, Phil Felix played the past few weeks? How does that impact the rotation or does no, it? I mean, it's you know obviously you guys are playing playing well, and you know Trey was playing well uh, you know before his injury, and so you know, we'll go out we'll go out there and you know, make sure that all those guys get a chance to, to impact the game and you know, really see how it goes. But we'll we'll have a plan for it.